All right, today I have a Subaru Outback, and I'm gonna show you how to operate the air conditioner and the heater on this Subaru Outback. As well as the air conditioner and heater, I'm also gonna show you how to turn on and off the heated seats on this vehicle. Uh, but before we get started, could you give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my video? I'll appreciate it tremendously. All right, so I've done a version of this, but on an older model Subaru Outback, where it had more of the manual controls, this version of the Subaru Outback actually has a touch screen. And I'm gonna go over that with you. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so as you can see right here, this is the touch screen. There's a lot going on. Now there are some manual controls right here that aren't part of the touch screen. I'm gonna go over those with you as well. All right, so the air conditioner is currently on. It's blowing out cool air because it's hot outside and I'm just operating in a cool vehicle right now while I'm making this video. So I'm gonna go over the man some of the manual controls that make it things life really simple for you. And then I'm going to get to some of the touch screen controls, which can be somewhat cumbersome or somewhat difficult to understand. But we're going to go ahead and go for it. All right, so we're going to start from the left side, and I'm going to go also going to go to the right side to show you some of the manual controls that are over there. So the air conditioner is currently on, okay? We'll go over the touch screen on how to turn it on really quick, and then I'll go to go over the manual to turn it on and off is this simple button right here. It says on off, you either press it on or off. Okay, so you have that. Now I'm gonna show you how to raise and lower the temperature. Okay, but before we get that, there is a defrost selection right here. Do you see this right here? This is for front defrost. When I press that, it actually blows air to defrost the windshield. All right, so what happens if I press it again? it turns it off so it's no longer blowing out of the front right over there okay so i turn it off now i am going to go to right here so this is how the manual way of how you can lower and raise the temperature you press this right here and it's supposed to lower the temperature if you can see right here it lowers the temperature on the driver's side or both if all uh, both sides are synced, which they currently are not synced. I'll go over how to sync the left, the driver's side and the passenger side. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. I can lower the temperature by pressing the down button or the blue button, which indicates cool. And I can raise the temperature, which raises the temperature of the vehicle on, because they're not synced, adjust the driver's side. Red is indicator of warm or hot, and so you can adjust it right there. Now, with that said, it raises or lowers the temperature. It doesn't necessarily turn on or off the air conditioner. I will show you that momentarily. Let's go ahead and move on. All right, so now we're gonna look at the touch screen right here. Do you see this right here? This is the touch screen right here. Now, there's a lot of things going on right here, and I'll just go through them. Up here, I have nothing to do with the vehicle. See, that has nothing to do with the, I mean, nothing to do with the air conditioning and heater control. So we're not going to start with this right here. Okay. So we're going to go down here and we're, this is where the temperature is like located. I showed you the on off feature. Remember I press this, it turns the air conditioner heater off. If I press it again, it turns it on. Did you see that? All right. So next we have the fan speed. So that is the speed of the air that is blowing out of the vents, okay? Uh, you can control it by pressing this. You see, I just pressed this button. It just is no longer showing right here because I've reached the bottom. Now we're here, okay? See, it doesn't show anymore. But if I press this, it pops back up and I am increasing the fan speed until it gets to the highest speed. Oops and the highest speed, it disappears. Now to turn it back low so you can hear me out. Press it lower. All right, so we did that, okay? So it lowered the temperature, okay? Or lowered the fan speed, okay? So it's on right here. All right, now I'm gonna move over to right here. You see this right here? This shows the direction of what, where the air is blowing at you, okay? So I can press this and it pops up on the screen, look on the screen, a lot of stuff comes up up here, and I can go ahead, oh, well, it just changed, oh, you see that? 
And so now a lot of the screen, I can sh change the direction. So I have, I just want it at my, oh, you gotta press it, go fast where it's gonna move. If I just want it at my face, I'll press that. Uh, oh, there we go. If I want it at my face and feet, I'll press that. Face and feet, press this. It's a little bit stronger, it says. Oh, so, so right here is uh, even at the face and feet. This is a little bit at the feet, more at the face. This is just at the face. This is at the windshield and the face. Now, if you look up, there's something called max AC, and that recirculates the air in the vehicle. I'm gonna show that again. Right now, it's on auto. I press max AC. It is recirculating the air in the vehicle, and it's giving me the coldest air possible that I can uh, that I, I can handle in the vehicle. Now, to turn it off, I can just go back to auto, and it goes to full auto selection. And this is recircling. But say, for instance, you want air from outside, you want to turn off the recirculation. All right, so you want to turn off the recirculation. Just come up here, turn off the recirculation, and it's actually pulling air from outside. Now, if you look at the right here, remember I was changing the fan speed. You can also change the fan speed on this screen right here. You can just keep on just drag it up here and go to off if you want to or just turn it back up. And you can also do the fan speed down here. Now it's important to note, when you want air conditioner on, make sure this option is lit up. You see where it says AC and there's a green light above it? Make sure that is on just like that, okay? That way you can have air conditioning coming out. Otherwise, it will not be using the cool refrigerated air to cool off your vehicle, all right? So that is that. And the next thing is right here is the sink, okay? So this is, I'm gonna go over the sink but first, but this is another thing to where you can pull up uh, the climate on the passenger side. So this is the passenger side. See, there's a glare right there. And so you can raise or lower the temperature on the passenger side, okay? There's also an option for the heater on the passenger side right here. You can press this once, it's full heat. Press this a second time, you see it, it's medium heat. Press this, lower heat, low heat, press it again, it is off. Now there's an option right here for sync. I'm gonna go and press that, and it is now synchronized up. So the driver's side and the passenger side are both at the same temperature, okay? It's both at the same temperature. But if I press the passenger side and I try to adjust, they will no longer be in sync. They'll be at whatever it is, 98 degrees maybe, okay? If I have it at the temperature setting. All right, all right, so let's get the back street and go back over here. I'm going to press this again, and I'm gonna press sync. So it is on synchronized. So once it's synchronized, I go over to the driver's side, and I can make adjustments, and the temperature of the vehicle will stay the same unless I unsync it. But again, we're gonna back street and not do that, okay? So I'm gonna press this, and of course you have the heater for the driver's side. I just press that button and I can press the heater for hot, medium, cooler right there, or not hot or low, and then I pr press it to turn it off. Oh, so, so are we gone over that? You can also control the heated seats by pressing this button right here. And it just brings it up here on here so you can control it right there. So I'm gonna cool it off. I don't want it uh, 98 degrees. I want it to be in sync. The back street over here, I am going to show you to defrost or defog, defrost, defog the side view mirrors and the rear window. You just simply press this. And that button, you see how it's lit up right there? It's lit up right there, and it's indicative that it, the defrost is on for the rear and the side view mirrors, okay? So you do that, and then there's also the control for the passenger side, manual control, to turn up and down the temperature. Do you see this? This is the manual can control, and it's controlling the passenger side. It takes it out of sync, okay? Now let's backstreet, boys and come back over here, and this is how you control the climate control, the air conditioner and heater on a Subaru Outback. I hope this video was helpful. 
Thanks a lot for watching.